the refinery that was launched on the 22nd of May may have just been an audio arrangement. Because sources are telling us that that refinery is not going to be functional until 2025 and even above. So I took the liberty to actually go there and see things for myself. So follow me and let's go there. So you can see the Dangote refinery, the entrance. Hello everyone, welcome to the Meadows by Property Mart at Magbon Alade Ibetuleki. It's just facing the major road and this road down leads to the refinery. You have Jara Beach Resort and Honey Resort just around here. This is a fully serviced estate. This new community will contain everything from parks, playgrounds, shops and restaurants, to schools, childcare, and community centers. Currently being sand-filled, the title is a consent judgment, and I always advise my clients to buy properly titled land in Ibejuleki, because the truth of the matter is that the government has a lot of interest in this area, and there's a global acquisition around Ibejuleki, so you know that if you're not getting a committed acquisition or a committed land, it has to be a land that is duly registered or with a good title. So if you want to buy land in Ibejuleki, this is where you should start looking ahead to. And like I said, you know, has neighboring places, you know, neighborhood like the Dangote Refinery, the Lekki Deep Sea Port, just along the stretch of the Lekki Free Zone Expressway. And you know that the coastal road is just going to be at the other side, the Atlantic view just at the other side. So whether you want to use it for your residential purposes, you want to use it for whatever purposes that you want to use it for, it is strategically located, you know, People are on site, the constructor is already on site and they are working assiduously and you know the project milestones per week are amazing. Before you could not even step here but you can see that work is ongoing, it's very reputable developer that has been many years in this business. So what are you waiting for? Kindly contact me, can you send me a message, hit me up, give me a call and let's get you started on your journey here at the Meadows. This is Uche Philip Emoidi from Only Home the NG and contact me for all of your needs. So breaking transmission, let me explain a few things to you guys. The first thing is that um, I want to deal with two client objections when it comes to buying land in Ibejuleki, or rather three. The first one is that it is bush. <laughs> the second one is that it is water. And the third one, that it is close to the refinery, you know, because of the industrialization that is there. The very first objection I'm going to be dealing with is the fact that if you don't buy land because it's bush, if it has a good title, if it has a good location, and the only reason is the bush, how much does it take to clear, really? And if your only reason for buying land or not buying properties that that place is still a bush, you know, I, I'm not, I should not even be talking to you, honestly. Just click out of this video, right? Because it is developers, it is capitalists that come into a place and make that place what it needs to be. Developers of Novari Moor, they say that that place was a jungle before they came there. They did that road, they were able to ply, you know, do their drainage. There's a canal just in front of there. They did it themselves. It's not the government that did it. Private individuals, they did it. And right now, if you want to buy land in Shangote, do 50 million and above, and you see the wonderful edifice that is there. You know, just imagine you had something there when land was probably 500k and below there. So if you're saying somewhere is bush, you just take somebody of foresight and somebody daring enough to go there to remove that bush and then they're gonna sell it to you at a ridiculous rate. So that's the first one. The second one, it is water. For goodness sake, Lagos is a coastal town 
flanked by both the, the Atlantic Ocean and also flanked by the lagoon. There are very few places in Lagos that you're going to see that is 100% dry, including places that you are living in, probably living in right now. Go to Lekki, go to the stretch of um, Freedom Way. Mainly and majorly, Lagos Island is reclaimed. <laughs> And, you know, there are issues with the fact that these reclamations can be done in a much better way, more coordinated and drainage should be done. But you know, the matter is that people are going to fill up that water, people are going to sand fill, people are going to dread. Dredging is the multi-billion Naira industry here. And so if it's stopping you, like I said, with the bush, people are going to fill that up put in buildings, give it out for you or your children to rent and then you're just, going, <laughs> you're just going to be a spectator in all of that. So that's the second one. And then the third one, you know, um, with um, regards to concerns, health concerns about, um, you know, the refinery being closed to um, residential buildings. You know, honestly, you should at least have a 48 48 meters distance away from your refinery. In fact, I even think that that's a little bit small. Uh, you know, talking about at least a kilometer, you should be at least a kilometer away from the refinery. And anything that is as close to should be commercial. And so if you're getting stuff there, they should be commercial, very close to refinery, should be commercial. Of course, it goes without saying that you have a good title. And, um, you know, there are also amazing residential land that are two kilometers, three kilometers, and above, away from the refinery that you can still take advantage of. So don't let water, bush, or the fact that it's a refinery stop you from investing in commercial or residential real estate along the refinery. Let me mention that and emphasize on the fact that it is fully serviced. It's coming with drainage systems, it's coming with security, it's coming with um, you know playground, it's coming with CCTV cameras, it's coming with a pool and there are going to be shuttle buses and the entire estate is 79 hectares. That is a lot of plots. One hectare is 15 plots, so do the math. And it's going to be a whole community, not just an estate. So you're going to have shuttle buses, short people it's going to be schools it's going to be supermarkets they're going to be all of the amenities that you need to leave and you know to go about your day-to-day -day businesses it has currently two entrances you can enter from here and you can also enter from here you can see some feeling is going fast the contractors are on site and you know per the next milestone the price may not remain the same so Price. The price is 27 million naira only, which is a steal, is a giveaway for a land that is facing the major expressway in this community. And there are amazing, amazing amenities. You know, you can easily go to the beach, you can easily go to a beach resort, like I mentioned, Jara Beach Resort down here. Nangote Refinery is here. Some of their members of staff and all of the people that are going to be living and working in the free zone would want to find home here to so take advantage of this opportunity and contact me today to get you started on your journey. property mart and this is your fully serviced estate like i said i do not recommend a lot of properties in Ibejuleki, but when i see a property with a good title with an awesome location facing the beach and also with a reputable developer then i advise you to take advantage of that opportunity so contact me today to get you started on your journey this road down it leads all the way to Eleko Junction and down here leads to the Dangote Refinery, to the Deep Sea Port, to the Lekki Free Zone, among other amazing destinations in this access. If Lekki is the new Lagos, make sure you have your own slice and piece of it. Contact me today to get you started on your journey. See you soon.
Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Meadows by Property Mart at Aja Agbon Aladi. Magbon Abi? 